What's up guys? Uh, in this video I'm showing you how to get the um, the shotgun, um, the TOZ, for free. You don't have to grind rep, you don't have to pay however many, like 100,000 rubles or whatever it is to buy it. Um, you can actually get it for free. So, step one is get a bunch of meds and get a bunch of food, water, and ammo. So, I have a Nagant. Uh, which is a starting pistol. I have about 200 rounds for it, which honestly I could use more, probably like 100 more. I have two medkits, which I'm not sure will be enough, uh, or six medkits, I guess. I have four stew, and I have a bunch of meat that I haven't cooked yet, which I should do, um, but I have a bunch of bandages too, and I rads. So I have everything I need to start a campfire if I need to. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to come to this place right here. So this is like in the very middle of uh, B2, B3, and R2, R3 right it's well not really it's 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 in the middle of b3 1 2 3 4 okay so or um b2 3 4 and b3 1 2 so it's right here in the middle of lubeck city okay so in lubeck city you start here this is up here in the middle so mark this on your map what you're going to do is you're going to come here and go into this tunnel right here okay so when you come up from the uh west side of it you come up you're probably going to come up from this side you're going to come up right behind it so you get this tunnel, there's an the entrance to the safe zone in there, but you go to, you're going to go down this tunnel. So, like I said, bring a bunch of meds, bring a bunch of food, bring a bunch of water, bring a bunch of ammo, a fuckload of ammo. And down here is just rats, so um, you can loot down here. I don't know if there's actually like good loot, I have no idea. This is the first time actually being down here, but um, all credit for this goes to uh, Krusty on Steam. Uh, he actually made a guide, he plays, he's played this game before. This game is actually, uh, was out in Russia for years, until it got basically made into uh, a western game just a couple of days ago and released on Steam. So it's obviously relatively new to uh, western audiences and um, but it's been out for, for a long time so people have played the Russian version which is known as Stalker Online. So um, yeah you can hear somebody else is down here right now which is fine. Don't have to really have to worry about that. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. So, like I said, this is my first time at being down here. I don't really know. Wow, am I actually? I gotta survive this fucking fire. I'm in a med. Wow. Dude, that's fucking crazy. I need to like use uh, anti rats too. So I guess I'm here. Uh, I need to go out the other way. So yeah, like I said, this is my first time being in here. Honestly, I don't really know. This shit mad fucked me up. So I think I'm just going to try to run through. Okay. So let's see if we can come over here. Looks like this guy actually died. So I'll leave his other shit, but I'll take the toilet paper. So Stairs. I don't know where this goes. It's blocked off, so there's really only one way to go. Cut. Should probably conserve some stamina. Pop another anti rad real quick once I reload. Okay. And gonna try to go this way without getting fucking owned by rats. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. Not as easy as you might think. These rats are a fucking nuisance. Okay. 
So it looks like we can just oh keep heading this way. I'm trying to avoid using my ammo. So a respawn point. Here we are at another settlement. And here we are at the outskirts of uh Lubeck. So I guess the outskirts are a lot more dangerous uh, than the city. Um, so it's going to be quite interesting. So here we are. Here we are in the outskirts. Uh, the Outlands, as it is. So if we open up the Steam, uh, I'm going to open up the wiki real quick. I don't think you guys can see it on the video. But uh, it's at R2 and R3. So if we go to R2 and R3, it's up here. So it's extremely 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 fucking far so it's all the way fucking up this way so when I hopefully make my way up there um, I'll get back to you guys but I'm gonna try to make the journey right um, so basically you have to find this Grisha shopkeeper guy and um, let me see uh, let's see hold on one sec you have to run out to the NPC and talk to him and get the quest and then you get the gun and then you peace out and you don't basically the the premise is you don't um, you don't turn the quest in right because then the gun gets taken away so you just keep the gun um, so yeah um, that's pretty much it I'll be back as soon as I can make my web there and I'll see you guys in a sec All right, guys. What's going on? So we're back. We've uh, we've made it to the location all the way up here in A3. Um, so once you get here, you'll see uh, this guy right here. This guy right here. You want to talk to him. You want to accept the quest that he has, and go through all the dialogue, and you'll get this quest right here: stewed meat for a gun. So basically, this is going to tell you to go to A23 and uh, retrieve this gun from the stash. So. Basically, A23 is literally right above us, right? We're in A31 at the very northeast corner, or northwest corner, and A23 is right above us. So if we look, A23, boom, here's uh, some a copse of trees. So we're going to run right into here and uh, see if we can't find this weapon this guy's talking about. So as I said, this is my first time doing this. I've never done this before. I'm just using... 
um, Krusty's guide on this. So here we go. Here's the stash. We're going to open it up. And TOZ, 34, and some ammo, 30, 30, uh, 30 slugs. So there we go. So modification. There's the beautiful hunter's rifle or shotgun, and we're going to equip this baby. And we are going to reload. Boom. Beautiful. I think it reloads awesomely. And there we have it, gentlemen. There's our TOZ. Right? Here we go. So now guess what? We do not go back to this guy and turn the quest in or else we will lose the shotgun. So that is the strat. So now we can forget about this quest, pretend like it never happened. And uh, we can cancel it if we want to. And uh, you know, we'll just cancel it and there it goes. <coughs> so now we have the shotgun for free. So we don't have to grind rep for it. We don't have to spend a whole bunch of rubles for it. We just have it and it gives you some ammo as well. And uh, actually what you can do is, here's another guy maybe doing this quest. You can talk to this guy, see what he has for sale. And you can buy, what is it, 1270 um, slugs or buckshot. I believe slugs are uh, quite a bit more. I'm not sure what the difference is, but um, equipped with lead cartridge and hunt medium-sized game. So slugs in 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 real life um, are are go much farther than normal buckshot or um, other shells so what I'm gonna do is grab a quantity of these so say like 150 it'll cost 4.2 fucking grand holy shit uh, oh my god okay uh -huh. worth right so there we go we're gonna get a bunch of buckshot and we got some slugs on us so now we have the shotgun we have acquired the shotgun for absolutely free other than a little bit of time and definitely some meds a um, little bit of food, not too much. So um, now I'm going to go over the route I took and how I made it from all the way down here to all the way up here uh, without dying. Uh, actually, I did die once or twice, I think. But basically what I what I did was... Let me turn this down real quick. Okay. So basically what I did is... Um, so you, you spawn in down here, right? Somewhere down here. I forget exactly where. Maybe in here somewhere. Uh, maybe over here. But anyway, what I did was I came up here. I came right about here. And actually, as soon as I got out of the tunnel, there was a forsaken like zombie-looking guy who killed me. So I'm like, fuck. So I come out of the tunnel. I killed that. I hopped on a car. Um, that's another thing. That's a little strat you can use. Is you can hop on objects like cars. Um, Rocks really haven't worked out too well for me, but you can you can kind of create a divide between you and the enemy, and basically the the mob will lose aggro. But as soon as you step off the object you're on, um, it will it will run after you again. So you you want to get on top of the car and then kill whatever is chasing you or whatever is going to harm you, um, and then get off the car because if you don't, it'll chase after you, right? And you usually can't outrun most things. The only thing I've found that you've been able to outrun is our rats, but um, that could change. Maybe there's some, some some sort of stamina skill or anything or something, but I'm not sure yet. So anyway, uh, I died there, but I came back out. I killed it. <clears throat> there was another guy there who who was uh, who had a nagant too, and we we killed it. And then I came up here and I tried to run into this forest. Really bad idea. Don't do this. Um, this forest right here and like this area, I think, is just infested with fucking spiders. I had like 20 spiders on me. I had to reload my shitty pistol, I couldn't do anything, I died, took to death, whatever, didn't lose much. So I was like, okay, so I skirted along here, and uh, made my way over here to this guy, and this is uh, a checkpoint, really. Now, what you can do, I'm assuming is, I didn't try this, but uh, you can go directly up north to this um, area right here, and this is uh, Gourmet, so this is like the main hub for players. Um, pretty much I think in in the game like I think this is like the hub in the game for people this is where trading happens there's a warehouse here there's all kinds of stuff here so um, you know if you if you want to go up here you can do that and I, I picked up some extra meds up here I bought three extra uh, two extra car med kits and um, a little bit of uh, uh, water as well so that's what I did because I used my med kits up from 
the forsaken zombie guy down here and then the spiders and some other stuff so uh, my route was I went here and then I took this road there were some rats on the road I killed and I took this road all the way up here and then made a detour here ran in there's in this field right here there's a couple boars that you'll have to be aware of but if you have an agant um, I think boars if you shoot them in the head uh, it's like a four shot kill five shot kill so um, and you can butcher them obviously and they give a good amount of combat XP and support and uh, you know, survival XP or whatever it is when you butcher them but so I came to gourmet whatever I got all my guys got a, got like three quests or whatever and I did that and then um, I, I got back on the road right here and then I ran I, I continued to follow the road until about right here and then right here is like kind of where you have to make a decision so you can either do what I did and just cut across the forest right here it's probably more dangerous but what I actually did was like right here I just cut right through here and um, I went to this campfire right here and uh, did that so I came up here and then I cut over here and took this path down so this is like a, a base right here which is like a safe zone and this is a safe area right here um, it looks like there's one there maybe one there one there one there but this is like pretty dangerous I think anyway what I did yeah so I came right here and then I don't know if it was just the game or like it's just this area as you can see in the background it's still it's still super foggy but when I came up here when I was on this road it was super super foggy right so I really couldn't see shit and there were boars aggroing me so I'm gonna put, like include a clip in the middle of the video somewhere that you might have seen where um, I'm walking on the road and I just recorded that just because I thought it was a really cool like I thought it was really cool ambiance right just kind of those like super foggy up in the like the the mountains on this on this road it was kind of like Silent Hill and then you have these fucking glitchy ass boars just ruining the moment just glitching everywhere fucking lagging around fucking me up I almost died here actually but I managed to hop over this traffic this little barrier right here um, on the side of this road and it it de the the boar and then I healed reloaded hopped over and then killed the boar so then I came here and there was another boar but once you get right here you're pretty much you're pretty much good to go right this is like the halfway point so you start down here, you get up here, boom, 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 you go gourmet, you go to this guy, whatever, do that route, and then you get here, and this is like your halfway point, so, um, and then when you get here, it's pretty much smooth sailing, like, this is probably the worst part, is getting out of the city, and then this is just, it takes time to just run, it's not that bad, it took me like 20, 30 minutes probably, but definitely worth it, right, because you're going to have the shotgun pretty much forever until you get like an AK or PBSH or a fucking Mosin or an SKS or whatever, like, in-game guns, I guess, from what I've seen anyway, um, which is not much. I have not seen much, but I have seen a uh, few streamers and stuff. But anyway, so I got right here, and then I just took this trail. It was super foggy, so it was really hard to see, but there are boars fucking everywhere. There are boars everywhere, so you need to be pretty weary because boars can either hit you and do nothing, or they can hit you, stun you, and you're fucking, you're fucked. You're like half HP and you're bleeding, so that's why you need to bring as many meds as you can. Um, that's why I stocked, I had like no meds left, and I was like, oh, I'm fucked, but then I came here and I, I luckily they had there's a, a guy you can buy meds from here so i bought a bunch of meds and I'm like two 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 med kits so like three charges each so six charges right um so got here came up the trail and uh killed two boars i think on my way up here i don't know what this is and i haven't explored any of this like i literally have not explored any of this area but i guess i will now so um so yeah i've got the shotgun came up here did that got a little got the shoddy got some ammo for it which is expensive as fuck by the way unfortunately but uh you know that's uh that's how it is i guess so um basically now i guess i'm just gonna run <laughs> have to run down to uh down here um <clears throat> i mean what i can do is like probably suicide to something and just respawn back down here. I don't know if this changed my uh, spawn point or not. Um, yeah, I guess it did change. So if I died, I would just spawn back here. So yeah, not worth. So I would have to run. I have to run back here. I guess there's really no other way to do it, but this game's a lot of running, right? So, um, so yeah, guys. Hope that uh, helped you guys out. And again, I'm going to leave the link for the description or in the description for two of the resources I used um, to make this video to, to for this to be possible for me and a lot of other players so um, one is just a map and many different maps and a couple of small tutorials uh, written by a, game, a guy not a gay sorry a guy named uh, attack 
on the Steam forums or the Steam guide section, and the other one is a, a guide on how to do this. And you can also, he also has a guide on how to get the Mosin, um, which I guess is the best PvP weapon, he says, but I'm far from that. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> I'll leave those down in the description, and uh, hope you guys, uh, hope this helped you guys out. Um, so, you know, if you've ever, if you ever just want a, a, a video kind of guide on how to do this, or maybe you want some inspiration, maybe you're like, I don't want to do this, it's too fucking hard. It's actually not. Uh, it's, it's kind of frustrating, depending, everybody's experience is going to be different, right, depending on where you go, but, um, it wasn't that bad. Just bring meds, have a lot of, uh, revolver ammo, which is not expensive. If you've made enough money in the city, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so, definitely worth though. And also, I want to show you guys my skills. So, in my skills, open it up here. Um, I have this right here. So, rifles, I have these both of these skills. And rifles include um, shotguns. So, I have um, equipping time is shortened by 30%, and reload time is shortened by 20%. So, that's why I was able to reload the shoddy so fast. And then, obviously, you have these other skills. But I also have these pistol skills. So here's my skill tree if you if you want to know. I have uh, butchering increases, and I have this 5% speed, which if you don't have 5% speed, you absolutely need this. And then um, I have another perk point that I can use, but obviously I don't have enough skill points to get any perks. I'm very close, though. So, um, and then I have, I have these. I'm actually working towards this right here, but I need three fucking perk points. Three fucking perk points to unlock this. It increases your XP. Um, it decreases your wear of weapons and it increases your chances of crafting and restoration of items. So um, that's super fucking strong and like OP, but obviously you need three perk points. It's like fucking crazy. Um, and so yeah, these are my skills. If you if you want to know, um, really nothing crazy. I mean, I've I have probably how much how much playtime do I have? I have uh, ten hours playtime. A lot of that was spent just like AFKing and like fucking around in the tutorial. So. Mm. 10 hours is not much, though, compared to uh, a lot of people, and I'm pretty much totally new to this game, so let me uh, eat some food. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that shit. Um, it was definitely a pretty cool experience, and obviously the, the ambiance of this area is really cool. Um, this game is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's it's shitty, but it's really cool at the same time. You know, it's that type of shitty that's like, you gotta appreciate it. Like, it's a shitty Russian game, but, but if you've played shitty Russian games before, you know that shitty Russian games are, like, super addicting or, like, enjoyable and fun maybe not maybe enjoyable is not the right word but um yeah, pretty fun you know it's something to do it's something to grind you know hop on when you wake up at four in the morning or some shit and you're like fuck dude there's nothing to do hop on fucking stay out and uh <clears throat> grind away you know grind that shit so all right guys peace out hope you guys enjoyed that shit uh hope it helped and um I'm on US one by the way, and my name is a uh, is a uh, Hood Rich. Right? Hood Rich. So if you ever see me in game or some shit, feel free to say what's up. Don't kill me. Don't fucking kill me. Shit's annoying. Alright boys. Hope you guys uh enjoy the grind. Enjoy the vid. Peace.